Welcome back to Fable 2, everybody. Last episode, we did all of our quote-unquote fetch quests, and we helped out all the people in this crappy, crappy town, and we got five gold pieces. So now our next objective is to buy that music box that we have been after since the beginning of the game so far. Hello, children! Hello. We've come to buy the music box. All right, let's buy it. Give the man our money. Very and hopefully it's not a waste. Because that would suck. A lot. A small music box that trembles with energy at your touch. That sounds kind of promising. Cool. Thank you. Go ahead and turn the handle. But mind you go somewhere quiet like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. Alright, so now we're broke. Uh, and that was all just for a crummy music box. But now we're gonna go back home. We've done enough for a day, I think. We've worked our little behinds off. Let's put it on this nice little altar type thing, shall we? Set it on top of this box. I wish. I wish. Holy but crap. Where did it go? Why are we still here? Five gold pieces. Let's just go to bed. Oh, I was so sure this was it. I had this feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. All right, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. Come on, Sparrow, go to bed. Oh, the dog's like, I'm perfectly happy staying with you guys, even though you're broke as hell. I'm gonna sit there and scratch our ass, because that's polite. I just gotta say, you were not impressed that a music box just randomly exploded? I mean, I would kind of be a little impressed by that, but... Anyways, uh, we're gonna be ending this phase soon, so if there's anything you didn't do... I think you can go back and do it before you go to bed. Uh, we're going to stop scratching our ass, though, because we're done. We've done all our chores, and we've got the music box, which is pretty much only uh, the first objective we had. So let's continue on. Ho! All right, settle down. There's a nice uh, angry stray dog. Quiet, boy. What do you want? I work for Lord Lucian, miss, and he would very much like to see you in his castle. I've been sent to collect you. <gasps> this is hopeful. It did work. Our wish came true. Come on, little Sparrow, wake up. Hey, look at that. Dreams do come true. It's all right, doggy. We're going to Lord Lucian's castle. I'll come back for you. I promise. Alright, well, she's certainly excited. I would be too, man. We're gonna be living the, the high life royalty. Sweet. Let's go to Castle Fairfax. Which is all the way up there. That gorgeous castle in the, in the distance. Looks grand. Evening, Jeeves. Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. Hello, young masters. Hello, Run sir. around impatiently. If you'd follow me, please. All right, so now we're going to be forced we to walk. We look at this castle every day. Very, very slowly. Nice it is. We both do. But inside, Stop pushing me, Rose. You're so rude. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? Ah, hello, Master Garth. Ha, a man of few words. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since... since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and Little Amelia. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So... Where does he eat? 
Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. He's in there working all hours doing research. What does he research? Well, history, mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things relating to the Old Kingdom. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was from the Old Kingdom. Yes, yes. I believe Lord Lucian heard about that. We bought a piece of it, and we made a wish, and now we're here. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when you meet Lord Lucian, you must show respect at all times. Address him as my lord, speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. And do not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. Alright, so th this is just a lot of talking. So I apologize for not saying anything. Here we are. Lord and this Lucian, is also very, the children very important, so. We're gonna meet Lord Lucian. Hey man, I look at your castle every day. Pretty sweet happening pad you got going on here. Children! It's come to my attention that you have some sort of magic box. May I see it? It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? <laughs> well, speak up. What did you wish for? To live in a castle like this one. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I'm working to rebuild... Well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. Let us find out if you possess them. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Um... I promise it won't hurt you. Oh, so he's going to use this in some sort of freaky experiment? I don't like where this is going. It's kind of weird. This is also the symbol from the beginning of the game. What's that? Fable symbol. Nothing to worry about. Cool. We're glowing. I don't really like this. I, I don't like to glow. It's usually not a good thing. What's going on? What are you doing to me? It's true. Your blood. You are heroes. Dun dun dun. Heroes? You mean like in the old stories? Hmm. What are you? Uh oh. Wait. There was My Lord. something what here. What was that like? Quiet! You're heroes, but you're not any of the three. One of you is the fourth. What's happening? This isn't what I wanted. And nothing must stand in my way. No, wait! Don't! No! Oh my god. I can't allow you to live either. Shit went downhill so sorry. fast. Lucian disappeared from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. And so the boy survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstown, life slowly returned to his small broken body. The boy awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. He reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take his first steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. 
With time, the boy's pain turned to strength. His grief became will. A will to change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted his every dream. Oh man, talk about a good story. Damn. Ah, there you are. And your faithful friend, too. Many years ago, I promised I would help you avenge your sister's death. That day has come. Today, you leave the safety of this camp and seek out Lucian. The journey will not be easy. There's a chest near your caravan. I've left a few things inside that might prove useful. Meet me by the gate until we meet again. All right, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call destiny. Teresa knew there was something special about us because she's a Cirrus. And it turns out that we are indeed a hero, although, you know, we don't we don't really look like much. However, I think I think we can work with this. I think we can sculpt this guy into a super awesome, amazing hero. As you can see when I walk, uh, my dog will follow me. He's a faithful, faithful servant and helper, and your dog is a huge part of this game. So, anyways, from this point on, um, co-op is allowed. Uh, the first part of the game, that whole introduction... You actually cannot play co-op. But from this point on, we're actually going to be playing as our hero, and we're going to be doing all the fun stuff like getting weapons and armor and upgrades and uh, things like that. So I'm actually going to stop it here because I do believe we're going to uh, start up co-op in the next episode. So yeah, look forward to it. We're done with all the uh, story, uh, beginning story stuff, and the talking and introduction stuff should die down, so I should be able to do more commentary without being uh, so rudely interrupted. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy our journey as uh, this scrawny pipsqueak that we're going to turn into a hulking heap of manly manliness. Uh, manliness. So anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.